Hi, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining me for this uh, presentation. I'd like to share a quick um, introduction to an article from Strategic Finance Magazine. The article is called How Ethics and Compliance Fight Corruption. And something that uh, would be extremely valuable for you to know that I've learned from this article is um, why it's important to fight against corruption in your business. And what I've come to understand is there's an extreme liability to not having a system or a process in place to help um, employees make a decision against uh, against making um, decisions that could uh, put your company at risk. Um, and currently in this market, a lot of larger global companies are at larger risk of corruption and bribery uh, and could have devastating social impacts on your organization. Um, what I've learned about bribery is no one is immune from it across all organizations and countries. Um, and an interesting fact is that for every dollar of bribery it translates into returns of six to nine dollars if the perpetrators are caught. So there is an extremely large risk for your organization. Um, um, if you're not, um, if you not don't have anything in place to fight against corruption and have your employees uh, learn to make ethical decisions, um, fun fact: corporate fines for um, corruption have reached 2.8 billion dollars in 2020, which is substantially growing. Uh, currently. There are a lot of or, um, or a growing number of organizations that are mitigating strategies and defenses um, against uh, against corruption. Many organizations in the United Nations, the U.S. remains the largest enforcer currently of anti-corruption law. Um, and a couple things that you can do to effectively mitigate strategies and defenses against uh, corruption would be a prevention program, um, but as prevention isn't always the um, most effective, there's a couple things you can do in your organization. First thing I would recommend would be to establish a compliance program and corporate controls. Um, there, this article shares quite a bit about six principles of adequate of an adequate compliance program that can extremely uh, benefit your organization. And these six principles are proportionate procedures, um, top level com commitment, risk assessment, due diligence, communication, monitoring, and review. Um, establishing a compliance program so employees feel uh, safe or that the procedures align with the organization's um, intentions to deal with business, um, fair business. Something that I've learned uh, uh, from this article and how it relates to our, um, our topics we've been discussing from accounting and decision management, management and control is that individuals are always in their self-interest and the best way to align the goals of the or your organization with your employees is to establish an organ organizational architecture. And what that means is you'll want to create a system that measures performance, a system that rewards and punishes performance, and a system that assigns decision rights. And what I mean by decision rights is aligning the knowledge or the decision control with the decision management. Um, overall, I've learned that it's extremely valuable to fight corruption in your organization with um, teaching ethics and compliance um, with policies and procedures in your organization. Um, thanks for listening. Um, appreciate your time. Have a good one.